okay dear students let us read this question now photons of certain frequency incident on metal surface cause the emission of electrons from the surface intensity of light is constant and the frequency of photon is increased now frequency is increased but the intensity is kept constant what is the effect on number of emitted electrons and the energy of emitted electrons now this question belongs to uh, the dual nature um, of uh, radiation um, in according to your book there is a topic named the relationship between particle nature and uh, radiations so for before uh, going into this question i would like to show you a little bit of theory little bit of background knowledge here so this is the graph now you can see what is happening here there are two factors number one is intensity that we are using the same intensity and number two we are using different frequencies and frequency is increasing according to the question these are the two questions uh, conditions and we need to find what will happen first of all i am going to talk about frequency because that is easy now einstein's photoelectric equation is somewhat like this h nu is equal to now h nu is the energy of the photon that is going to strike to the electron now what happens is electron absorbs that energy it uses this energy in two different um, types what is that now first one is work function so work function is, is the minimum energy electron needs to get out of the metal surface now the remaining whatever energy is given to the electron as the kinetic energy now if you are increasing the energy of the photon if you are increasing frequency you are increasing the energy of the photon definitely this work in a work function will be constant so you are in turn going to increase the kinetic energy so there we have the first answer that if the photon if the frequency is increased the kinetic energy is going to increase now what is shown in this graph in this graph we show kinetic energy here this these are the stopping potentials which are required to stop those very electrons so if nu3 this third is having the highest frequency we need maximum potential to stop that electron because that electron is having the maximum value of kinetic energy so the first question is done now the second thing is we are having the same intensity now in particle physics in this uh, um, the particle nature of radiations the formula of intensity is i is equal to number of photons multiply by the energy of one photon divided by area divided by time this is the general formula for the intensity of the radiation now we say that intensity is constant now how can this be constant everything else will be constant but only and only n and nu are the two variables that will be left it only means that if we are increasing the frequency number of photons have to be decreased now if number of photons will decrease there is a condition in photoelectric effect that one electron will be absorbing only one photon if number of photons are decreasing it means number of electrons are also decreased simple because one electron will absorb one photon so if you have reduced the number of photons number of electrons are reduced so this is the another another uh, explanation so we can see this phenomena at this location now you see the radiation which is having the maximum frequency is able to get minimum saturation current it is producing minimum current because it is having minimum number of electrons and the radiation which is having a minimum frequency is having minimum kinetic energy but the saturation current is maximum it is reverse it is in the reverse order so now what will be our answer so in this question now the frequency is more so energy will be more and number of emitted electrons will decrease so your answer will be b um just uh, i will do it again now let us see the frequency is increased so the kinetic energy is increased and the number of emitted electron is decreased yes absolutely so this is professor varun sorry for a little bit lag all the best